Good morning Year 4, it's Mrs Collins with Thursday's Maths Lesson. Write today's short date and learning objective into your Maths Home Learning Book. Pause the clip to give yourself time and press play when you're ready to make a start. Welcome back! Have you written that neatly in your Maths Book? I hope so. Let's get started with our learning. We've got our quick fire questions again this morning. You've got five questions. See if you can have a go at them. You can do your working out in your book. If you want to draw pictures, do a written method, or maybe you can work these out brain only. Pause the clip, give yourself a few minutes. Press play when you're ready to mark together. Good luck. Hi guys, are you ready to go through the answers? Get yourself a blue pen if you've got one. If not, it you're fine to use a pencil. Let's have a look at number one. It says, what is the area of the shape? Give your answer in squares. So you needed to count the squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The area was nine squares. Give yourself a tick if you got that right. Number two, it was a division. You could have done your bus stop method. You might uh, have done brain only, place value grid method, a number line. Whatever you chose, your answer should have been 17 remainder 2. Well done if you got that right. Multiply 26 by 4. I hope to see some column method multiplication in your books for this one. The answer was 104. Round 3,456 to the nearest hundred. So we're just looking at the hundreds. 456. And we want to think, is that close to 400 or 500? And the answer is 500. So the final answer was 3,500. 1,000 stays the same. Did you have a go at telling the time? This one was a little bit tricky today because the minutes hand isn't on the five or the six, it's in between. I hope you could see this on your screen. So it's gone 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28 minutes past one. And you could have also written that as a digital time or as numbers and words, 28 minutes past one. Well done if you did spot that time there. Great start, Year 4. Let's have a look at Skills Sharp. Today's lesson, we're going to be focusing on times tables to recap some of the work that we've done this term. Choose your challenge, mild, spicy or hot, depending on which timetable you think you need the most practice on. For example, if you're not really confident with your threes, you need to go and work on the mild challenge. If you know your threes, but you need a bit more work on your fours, go on to your spicy. If you know your threes and your fours, and you'd like to push yourself and work on the eights, you can go to the hot challenge. Have a look at the times tables on the screen. And in your maths book, could you write the full calculation? which has, has a missing answer, and write the missing answer in. Give yourself a few minutes and press play when you're ready to mark. OK, have you got your blue pen ready? Don't forget you've got your times table grid in your pack if you do need help with any of the learning you're doing today. Shout your answers out. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 8 is 24. 3 times 10 is 30. Well done if you got those right. Spicy challenge. Shout out your answers. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 7 is 28. 4 times 8 is 
32. 4 times 11 is 44. 4 times 12 is 48. Well done if you got those right. Did anyone have a go at the hot challenge? Shout out your answers. 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times 4 is 32. 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 7 is 56. 8 times 9 is 72. 8 times 10 is 80. 8 times 12 is 96. It might be helpful, if you are not super confident with these yet, to pause the screen and write this times table out in your maths book. You might want to have a practice at writing it a few times, maybe chanting it with some actions, and maybe getting a grown-up to test you on it once you've had a practice. The more practice you have at recalling these times tables, the more confident you will get. Okay, let's move on. Got another spicy challenge here, chilli challenge, where you've got the fat families. You need to write two multiplication and two division facts for the fat family in the triangle. So choose your challenge, mild, spicy or hot, and write those two multiplications and two divisions. Mild group, your first one is 6 times 3 equals 18. Can you tell me another multiplication fact? And then two divisions. Off you go. Welcome back. Did you have a go at a challenge? I wonder if anyone had to go at all three challenges and is really pushing themselves today. Well done if you did do that. I'm going to reveal the answers. Say them with me and mark as we go. 3 times 6 equals 18. 18 divided by 6 equals 3. 18 divided by 3 equals 6. That's the fact family represented by the triangle. Spicy challenge. 7 times 4, what was hiding under the star? 28. Say them with me. 7 times 4 equals 28. 4 times 7 equals 28. 28 divided by 7 equals 4. And 28 divided by 4 equals 7. Well done, Year 4. Did anyone push themselves with the hot challenge? The calculation was 9 times 8 and the answer was 72. Well done if you got that right. Call them out with me. 9 times 8 equals 72. 8 times 9 equals 72. 72 divided by 9 equals 8. 72 divided by 8 equals 9. How many did you get right? Well done for giving it your best shot. Let's move on. Here we've got a representation showing us a calculation from the three times table. What does it show us? How many groups have we got? One, two. We've got two groups of how many in a group? One, two, three. Two times three. How many all together? One, two, three, four, five, six. Two times three equals six. Three, six. That's what the picture is showing us. Let's move on. Here we've got a multiplication wheel. To work out the answers, you need to times the middle number by the number on the first layer to give the answer at the end. Shall we have a look together? Remember, if you've written your times table in your book, it will help you with this. Or you could use your grid, your times table grid that's in your pack. So we've got 8 times 5. 8 times 5 is 40. So 40 goes into there. 8 times something is 8. 
Hmm, where is 8 in the 8 times table? There it is. 8 times 1 equals 8. 8 times 7 is 56. You see how this works? 8 times something is 24. Can you spot 24 in the 8 times table? There it is. 8 times 3 equals 24. 8 times 9 equals 72. Well done if you're shouting this out. 8 times something equals 96. Can you see 96 on the 8 times table? There it is. 8 times 12 equals 96. 8 times something equals 64. Can you spot 64? There it is. 8 times 8 equals 64. 8 times something equals 80. Can you spot it? There you go. 8 times 10 equals 80. You might get one of these multiplication wheels in your independent task today. It's okay to fill it out on the sheet, but I'd also like to see it written out in your maths book. For example, if we were writing this one out, you'd write in your maths book 8 multiplied by 1 equals 8, making sure each digit has a box of its own. Okay, let's move on. We've got a word problem this time. Can you read it with me? If Sammy makes 12 cakes every four days, how many cakes will she make in total? What's the important information in this question? Well, we know she makes 12 cakes and she does it every four days. So how many will she make in total? So the calculation we're doing is 12 times four. Can you count up in fours with me? We'll do it together. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-eight, thirty-two, thirty-six, forty, forty-four, forty-eight. Sammy makes forty-eight cakes. Well done if you counted along with me. Let's have a look at this one. It says draw an array to represent six times three. So all you need to do in your book when you're doing it is draw some little dots or counters. So you're going to do three dots six times. That's one lot of three, two lots, three lots, four lots, five lots, six lots. And you write the sum next to it. Six multiplied by three equals, let's count up together, three, six, nine, twelve, 15, 18. 6 times 3 equals 18. Well done, Year 4. You've listened really well in maths this morning. In your pack, you'll see the Chili Challenge activity sheet that you're working on today. Choose the challenge. You're either working on your 3s, your 4s, or your 8s. All of these questions need to be set out in your maths book. So you'll need to do your calculations neatly. If you've got a sequence, you can easily do that by drawing it out nice and neatly using the squares to help you. If you need any help, you can email me at our year four email address. Have fun with your times tables this morning. I hope the practice makes you super confident. See you tomorrow for more maths. Bye.